Hey, what is up everybody and thank you so much for watching. In the last video, I showed you how you can connect your iPhone to your Windows PC or laptop. And But in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how you can mirror your iPad to your Windows PC or laptop. So the first thing you want to do is go to the control setting and go to the control center. Just make sure you have screen mirroring option in there. So I oh know you can't see it, but you have to make sure it is. So just swipe down the control panel and make sure you have screen mirroring in there. All right. And the second thing you want to do is make sure your iPad is connected to the Wi-Fi network. Now you can use a mobile hotspot. You can use a mob, uh, cable internet connection if you want to. I don't know if that even works, but in my case, I'm going to be using Wi-Fi connection. And that's pretty much it. You don't have to do anything else on your iPad. You don't have to download any kind of app or anything. But again, just make sure your iPad is connected to the Wi-Fi connection and just make sure you have screen mirroring option. Or if you're using an older iPad, there should be something called air mirroring. They changed the name uh, after iOS 11, I think. I'm pretty sure about that, but you can check. But that's pretty much it. You don't have to do anything on your iPad. And now onto your computer. So I have a link in the description box below. Just download a software called Air Server. I'm going to be using 64-bit but you can also use 32 if you want to so just download click download and just follow my steps Alright, once the software is installed, just double click on it. It will show you a few options, but I'll show you how to, how to get it work. Just click on try, it will give you about 31 days of trial, but you don't have to worry about it, as you can also just reinstall it. So, that just fix it. Just click on skip the version, and there you go, you don't have to do anything else. But you have to make sure there's a tray, uh, the air server tray at the bottom right corner of your uh, task manager or the windows so just for the sake of this video I'm gonna try again just to open the soft just to make sure just to show you how it actually works when you double click on it every time it will ask you to buy it but you have to click on try and that's pretty much it if you're using a latest version it won't ask you to up update but in my case it will, it will ask me to update but I won't just for the sake of this video just skip it and that's pretty much it just make sure the the air server is running in the background there should be a tray at the bottom Alright, and once that's done, take out your iPad and it's pretty simple from here. Alright, so as I showed you before, make sure your iPad is connected to the Wi-Fi connection or if you're using a mobile hotspot, make sure your computer, when you, if you're uh, using a computer or laptop, is connected to the same Wi-Fi network. So swipe down the control panel on your iPad and uh, just click on screen mirroring. But before that, as I showed you before, make sure your iPad is connected to the internet connection. Alright, once you click on the screen mirroring, it will show you there's an Apple TV next to you. So, in my case, this is a uh, this is my PC, but you can use the laptop too. So, I've named my PC Wastro, so you, but you can also change your PC name from the Air Server software. It's pretty simple, just go to settings and you can change the name. But once you click on it, but before that, let me just change the angle so you can you can actually see how it works. All right. So once you see your uh, once you see your computer or laptop, just click on it. It will take a few seconds depending on how far your iPad is from your computer or laptop. But it should you won't it should shouldn't shouldn't take about more than ten seconds. And there you go. Voila! It's connected to your PC. Now this works best for multiple applications, for presentations, for work for gaming, for uh, YouTube, Netflix, anything you like. All right, I'll show you how to get the how to get to the full screen too, but just for this I mean just look at it. It's pretty cool, right? So, I'll show you how to go to full screen on your computer just in a second. 
But again, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, I want you to comment down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So this is it for me. If you like the video, if, you, if this helps, please like, like the video, share maybe, and uh, subscribe for more because oh, there's a ton more content coming every week. So thank you so much for watching and subscribe for more. Enjoy the music and let's stick to the video for more options. Okay.